Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be talking about how Trey Young and the Atlanta Hawks just tied the series with the Philadelphia 76ers at two games apiece. So let's get into it right now. Young was drafted by the Atlanta Hawks in the 2018 NBA season, and in the 2018-19 NBA season, they won very little games and were not a contender. The same thing happened in the 2020 season, but Trey Young was not going to let that stop him. In his third year in the NBA, which was this year in 2020-21, the Hawks were predicted again to not be a great team, but they did get some great additions over the offseason, which made people think think that they could become a contender and that's exactly what they did i mean they had a slow start at the beginning of the season but once they hired coach nate mcmillan it was just off from there and they were on fire trey young and the atlanta hawks faced the new york knicks in the first round series of the nba playoffs and easily won that in five games then the atlanta hawks were tasked against facing the Philadelphia 76ers in the second round series of the NBA playoffs. In game one, Trey Young and the Atlanta Hawks won on the road in Philadelphia. Philly would take the next two games, one at home and one on the road, to take the series up to them 2-1. But Trey Young and the Atlanta Hawks just pulled off a crazy upset to tie the series at two and now we don't even know who's going to go to the Eastern Conference Finals because it could really go either way here because we know how Trey Young can get hot and we know how Joel Embiid can get hot. In Game 4 for Atlanta, Trey Young poured in 25 points while Bogdan Bogdanovich added 22. John Collins had 14, Clint Capella had 12, and Kevin Herter added 10 points for the Atlanta Hawks. Tobias Harris led the 76ers with 20 points. Seth Curry and Joel Embiid both had 17, and Embiid particularly had one of his worst NBA playoff performances of all time. Ben Simmons put up 11, and Furkan Korkmaz put up 10 points. This game was really an evenly matched game from the start, as both teams were going back and forth at each other, one taking the lead, but the next taking the lead again, and it was just an amazing game and the Atlanta Hawks fans were going crazy. This game just raged on and with Philly up by one, Shake Milton took this three and knocked it down. Then Trey Young had the ball and Tobias Harris split him and then to the floater and it was good. Atlanta went crazy for that one. Trey Young gets a screen from Bogdan Bogdanovich, gives it to Bogey. Bogey is defended by Curry and then slammed away from Joel Embiid, but it is called as a goaltend. Here, Trey Young has the ball and gives a lob to John Collins. In Atlanta, the fans were just going insane. Embiid hits him with the pump fake, gets it to Simmons, and Fork on Court Moss knocks down this logo bomb from way downtown. Trey Young has the ball, splits Simmons and Court Moss, fakes him out and splashes that pass to John Collins for an easy three-point bucket. Trey Young gets a screen from John Collins, doesn't work though, and Trey just floats it up and in to give the Hawks a one-point lead. The rest of the game in the final minute was very interesting as Trey Young went to the lane and got blocked by Joel Embiid, but they called a foul on Embiid and Trey Young knocked down both free throws. Now, Philly obviously called a timeout down three with 49 seconds left. Seth Curry got it to Embiid, tried to get it back, but Embiid wanted a foul and he got fouled, so he shot two free throws and ultimately made both of those shots. 
And with Atlanta up one, they called a timeout with 40 seconds. Trey Young had on for a court No need to foul for Philly. He passed it to Kevin Hur, who passed it to John Collins, who gave Clint Capello a rapid fireball, but then it went out of his hands and out. Tobias Harrison bounded it to Seth Curry, who gave it back to Tobias. Tobias gave it to Joel Embiid, who missed the layup. And Ben Simmons tipped it out of bounds. And this was the final call of the game. As Trey Young got fouled, he sank both free throws. And yeah, Philadelphia could not get a three point shot. And this was it. Atlanta had won the game, and well deservingly. I mean, Joel Embiid had a very bad game. He only had 17 points when he tweeted on June 11th that he was coming out to get y'all. So this is just not a good look for Joel Embiid, but it is for Trey Young. And I hope Trey Young and the Atlanta Hawks can become a Eastern Conference Finals team, if not an NBA Finals team.